Welcome back to 5 Minute Knives, the channel that will most definitely beat you at a game of chess. Today, we're going to talk about a couple of sheafers I made for my buddy Caleb way out in New Zealand, land of the hobbits. But first, let's try to sell you guys one of these custom Kydex sheaths. Okay, hopefully you guys bought a custom Kydex sheath and you did so by emailing me at dragonscalejoe at gmail.com listed below in the description. And remember, for those members of our subscribe star page, the subscribe starians, again, link below, you guys get 15% off all sheath orders. So especially you guys that are ordering more than one sheath at a time, if you signed up on subscribe star for only a dollar, it would take me roughly 17 years to make any money off you on there, right? According to my math. So there we go. So this is a quick, you know, just a overview sheath video shouting out my buddy Caleb, who is so cool. He wanted a sheath for his lion steel T5B. That's this knurfle right here wearing one of my sheaths. And uh, here's the knurfle itself. Whoa. A beautiful blade and that wackadoodle steel. Razor, razor sharp. This one is a laser beam five inch blade. It's become one of my favorite knives. And one of the reasons is the circumstances of how I acquired it was Caleb wanted a sheath made for this knife because it comes with a leather sheath, which is this one here. I'll show you how it works. I really cringe putting this knife away because I feel like it's getting duller every time I do that. But here's the leather sheath that it comes with. Not a bad sheath if you ask me. Although it just doesn't feel natural for me being a Kydexer going with leather, right? So here's this, I hate that the blade you know, runs down the path of the strap. Over time, I know that's an issue and it's gonna get cut, but uh, I really, really love the knife. Check out those scales. Covering up the tang in the front, which really adds to the comfort. The weight is really nice. It feels light and lively in the hand. This is a very, very nice knife. Now, Caleb likes this knife so much, he did not wanna wait to ship it to me, have a sheath made, and have me ship it back to New Zealand. Plus, it was gonna be expensive with the shipping. So what did homie do? He purchased this knife and had it shipped to me directly with the intention of me keeping it so I could feature it on the channel if I would just send him back a very simple all black sheath, which we have right here. Well, even with the, uh, the shipping cost of sending it from the States to New Zealand, that's still not fair. This knife is like 180 bucks you know, plus or minus, depending on where you're shopping. It doesn't cost me 180 to make one of these and ship it to New Zealand. I'll tell you that much. So I couldn't bear the thought of it. I asked him what knives he had. Finally, he let me know. Let's put this away. This is Caleb's sheath. She clicks into place with some authoritar. And we'll talk about that later. This is my own personal sheath I made for myself in the gray and the blood red, which I'm just into. He wanted plain black. He's a simple guy, he said. No problem. But we found out that he also has the Cold Steel Recon Tanto. So I made him this one in a chocolate brown. He said that was cool and he just wanted the straps. So basically I was looking around, I was out of straps. So I took the straps off my current sheath and I added it to his. I added a new design feature here because I wear this knife tucked into a bathrobe. <laughs> so it's actually kind of nice to have that little indent there. You kind of tuck her in. There's a thumb ramp. This is friction fit, bud. So there's the Recon Tanto that you guys all love, that I love. One of the best tater digging budget options on the market still kind of an industry standard for budget versus effectiveness in your tater digging right but here is the chocolate sheath and she just goes in there not with much of a click it's more of a friction fit but she's in there solid she's not going anywhere you need the thumb ramp to deploy it even and uh yeah she's a little little stiff there she goes so he's got these uh straps here nice and easy on the bathrobe in the morning and caleb's enjoying his morning coffee so I just wanted to show these off. Give a shout out to my buddy Caleb. Thank him so much guys in the comments for this knife. You're gonna be seeing this a lot on the channel. It's one of my new favoritest fixed blades ever now. And even more special because it came from a viewer from a different part of the world, which I just think is amazing. Somebody from New Zealand watches my little stupid channel and he saw fit to send me a copy of this knife he loves so much. Basically he just wanted to share it. Now, bud, she clicks in place with some authority now, because of the extreme texturing in the handle here, when you're drawing, there's a bit of grit, admittedly. There's no getting around that. She's gonna be a little gritty, but that's for solid retention. And there she goes. 
So I'm gonna ship these back to New Zealand now that I made the little video saying thank you to my buddy Caleb. And more importantly, thank you for watching the channel. It really means a lot to me. It's super cool that we get to share our love of steel, you know, worldwide, right? Sharp stuff, we're all into it. Man's second oldest tool and arguably his coolest. I think knives are just the coolest thing out, right? Totally into them. I like my mechanisms, but not like I like my knives. I love my knives. And this knife will be in my collection forever and ever and ever and ever. I'm never gonna get rid of this knife. It really means a lot to me, bud. So this is sentimental for me. So I hope you enjoy the sheaths. If you need anything in the future, don't be a stranger. Generally, I just like to ship within the States, but he was so cool and he sent this knife and I was just floored by the whole, the whole deal. So a little mushy, I know, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for helping the channel grow. Share it with a friend, especially you overseas people watching this. Like I, I'm honored. It's just super, super cool. So if you guys need anything, let me know. Shipping's a little tricky, but we can figure it out. And uh, for those of you in the States, just know that you will save money if you're on the subscribe star. So that's it for me. Everybody thank Caleb in the comments for the free blade. I'm, I'm just humbled. Thank you so much, buddy. Anyway, enough gushing, enough mushy stuff from me. Go get back to your scheduled days as you were. And I will see you next time on 5 Minute Knives.